Right, Tully ho there champs, Sol Goodman here. Let's talk about the 27 inch iMac. And there's some things you need to know. You don't want to make a mistake when you're buying them. I'm going to go through the CPUs, GPUs, which one you should get for what. I'm going to talk about this display as well. Should you get the Mac coding or not? Actually, let's talk about that now. And I do suggest you stay tuned to the end because you want to know about the GPUs. There's a lot of difference between them. And don't just think there's, you know, 16 versus 8 gigs. There's a big difference. All right, so let's talk about this nano textured glass, which is an option, by the way. You can get the nano textured glass. It's a $500 option. I think it's a $1,000 option with the Pro XDR display. Now, here's the deal with this. You get less viewing angles. People have complained with the Pro XDR display with this sort of nano textured glass that the viewing angles aren't as good as the glossy one. Now, let me tell you, this is the best matte coating you're going to get on any display. So it is awesome if you need it. But bear in mind that you only can clean it with the cloth provided. If you lose that cloth, well, you're going to have to get another one. Can't use any like solutions on it, um, you know, if your kid touches it or something like that in a professional environment, it'll be fine. But just know that a lot of people have complained about viewing angles and also the fact that, yeah, if you get it grubby, you touch it, you lose the cloth. And the fact that it can only be cleaned with the one cloth just tells you that it's sort of delicate, right? So don't get that unless you have a specific need for that, like, a, you know, a really bright room or you're a colorist or you're anal about stuff and you really need it. Otherwise, I just get the glossy the glossy looks better the only bad thing about glossy is the reflections okay now let's talk about the cpus which ones you should get and i'll go back here into the specifications here we all 10th generation cpus okay so we have um six core 10th generation we have eight core 10th generation we have 10 core 10th generations so i5 i7 i9 now these things may be an imac pro killer and a mac pro killer because they have Intel HD, or I think they have Intel HD. These are specific SKUs, so we're going to have to wait until we see them. But if they have Intel HD, there will be certain scenarios where these iMacs will outperform the iMac Pro, even if they've got more cores, and even the Mac Pro, just because of Intel HD. Now, if we have a look at the CPUs you get, these are the Intel 10th generation CPUs. Now, with Apple... They're doing their own SKUs. We don't know if they're doing their own SKUs with all of them. Hopefully they have the Intel HD, like I said. But you can see here, the i9 goes up to 5.2, does it? 5.2 up to 5.3 turbo. Uh, yeah, that's not going to happen with the Max, okay? Their 5 gigahertz Max, I guess it's down to thermal constraints with the Mac. But these CPUs are really fast now which one should you get any of them will be good the six cores are good six to eight cores it's not a big jump six to ten cores is a big jump with the i9 10 core being an option if you video editing and stuff like that most of the time stuff is hardware encoded so i think upgrade the graphics first unless you know you need the cpu like you're a music producer maybe even photoshop and stuff like that you might think a graphics card is more important but a lot of stuff is more cpu heavy even after effects you want you know a better cpu the gpu will help out with after effects but the cpu is more important it's counterintuitive i know and that's the same with 3d apps as well some 3d apps use the cpu to render and the actual GPU is only made to, you know, manipulate and hold the actual model in memory and show it to you on the screen. They actually use the CPU to render. So the best thing for you to do is while you're working, press command space bar and then type in activity monitor. So, yeah, as you can see, I'm using Intel HD here. And that's the thing, right? Intel HD gets used all the time. It's a big thing. If I was going to give you a general tip, I think upgrade the gpu before you upgrade the cpu because everything is mostly moving to the gpu these days of course look into it look into your use case but don't think if you're getting like a six core it's not going to be good because it will be good as long as you pair it up with a good gpu the base gpu let's talk about the gpu now now the gpus there's some big differences between them all first of all they are radeon pro so even if you're going to be using this as a Windows laptop for 3D or anything that uses Pro drivers, this is going to be amazing. Having Radeon Pro drivers in the Mac and also in Bootcamp, you should have the Radeon Pro drivers as well. There can be a massive difference just using the Pro drivers. Now, these are the GPU options from AMD, okay? 
uh, if we have a look here, there's a big difference between the 5700 and the 5700 XT, even though you might look at it and just think, well, the only difference is 8 gigabytes versus 16 gigabytes. You can clearly see the 5700 XT on the top has 40 compute units versus 36 compute units. That's what does all the heavy lifting, okay? It's the compute units. Also, you got more stream processors as well. You also get 16 gigabytes of memory and you know you have more memory bandwidth etc in actual fact the macbook pro 16 that gpu there the 5700 xt is actually the one that's in the macbook pro 16 but the macbook pro 16 is special it's a 50 watt tdp and it has eight gigabytes of hbm memory so in some circumstances i can imagine it's better than this although this has much higher tdp much faster clock and yeah it will be faster in the end for most things but you can understand why it's so expensive in the macbook pro 16 the 5600m i'm a bit disappointed they didn't go hbm memory with this anyway out of all these gpus they'll all be decent of course the 5700 is probably the best sort of balance the 5700 xt is another level compared to a mole just having those extra compute units and you can see there I mean, it's got double the amount of compute units as the base model and also like triple or quadruple the amount of memory. So here you can see them all, all the specs of them. You can see 40 compute units, 130 watt TDP. Oh, there you go. 130 watt TDP, the same TDP, both of these. Okay, that's very interesting. They're all 130 watt TDP. So actually, I'm going to get the base model in. And that just shows you that I can measure the, you know, the total thermal package or the power package of the iMac just using the base model because it's 130 watts, the same as the, you know, the top one is 130 watts as well. I measure the thermal output, the actual power output of the base model iMac, which I'm getting in. I also get the top model one. It's going to be the same with the top model as the base model. The CPU and GPU will use the same amount of watts, but you can see there. 130 watt package the main thing is those compute units 36 versus 40 with the 5000s and they're 20 and 24 with the 5300 and 5500 xt respectively there so you actually can't upgrade the gpu with the two six core models you have to go to the eight core model and yeah that's just how it is and they're doing a bit of the old pc marketing where if you want you know the eight core you're going to have to get the better graphics or if you want the better graphics you're going to have to get the eight core um, that's just how it is and i would say that is the sweet spot there although that's 16 gigabyte 5700 xt Woof. now what would i get out of the upgrades here would i get the 10 core or would i get the next graphics card up well, I would rather get the next graphics card rather than going to the 10 core if you can only do one upgrade. That's my tip. Of course, if you're CPU heavy, if you're a music producer, if you're After Effects or 3D or anything that uses more CPU, of course, do the CPU. But I think most people with video editing and stuff like that, a lot of stuff hardware encoded, you want the better GPU. So that's my tip. You've got one upgrade, go to GPU. Catch you in the next one. Tally ho.